Welcome to Touch Em All, Sports Knots Weekly MLB Digest. I am your host, Scott Colbranson, and today we're going to take a look at the Mets historic sweep of the Yankees with two of the New York teams going in opposite directions. Also, we're going to look at Ellie De La Cruz in Cincinnati. He blazes past 50 steals. We're going to look also at trade rumors coming up with the deadline on Tuesday. Also, we're going to talk about another fielder in the major leagues. We'll get to all of that and more coming up. So buckle up and let's ride. First up, the Mets have seized bragging rights in New York with a commanding subway sweep of the Yankees. They capped it off with a 12-3 blowout win, making it the first subway series sweep in over a decade. Francisco Lindor homered twice. Tyrone Taylor was on fire with three hits and stellar defense, and the Mets fans took over Yankee Stadium. The Mets are going in one direction, and the Yankees are going in another. It's amazing to see how the Mets have turned it around. Now, what's next for the Yankees? Watch and see. Next, Ellie De La Cruz is making history with the Reds and his blazing speed. He just passed the 50 steal mark and is on pace for the most stolen bases since 1988. In a big series against the Braves, De La Cruz notched three hits, including a home run and two stolen bases. If he keeps this up, he could be the first player to steal at least 80 bases since the legendary Ricky Henderson. This kid is unstoppable. Now, let's talk trade rumors because things are heating up with a deadline approaching. The Dodgers and Orioles are eyeing Tigers ace Tarek Skubal, and the Orioles have the best chance if they're willing to part with top prospects. The Yankees are looking for some offensive help with eyes on infielders like Jonathan India and Jazz Chisholm Jr. The Phillies are interested in Nationals closer Kyle Finnegan and outfielder Lane Thomas. And the Rangers could either be big buyers or sellers depending how the next few days go. Buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride before Tuesday's trade deadline. And finally, Brewers fans get excited. The team signed 19-year-old Jaden Fielder, the son of Prince Fielder, after he went undrafted. Jaden plays second and third base and could make it three generations of fielders in the majors. Imagine seeing him and another fielder in a Brewers jersey. It's like baseball royalty continuing its legacy. All right, that's it for this week's Touch Em All from Sports Knot. We appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out all the baseball action up on sportsnot.com. we got a big trade deadline coming up on Tuesday. We will be back next week in this space to give you our take and the big news from all of the big trades around Major League Baseball. Until next week, take care of yourself and keep swinging for the fences.